And I quote the philosopher Levinas. Les gens d'extrême droite sont ceux qui s'appelaient centre gauche. We are all responsible for everyone else. Heir to the idiot king. Quote, a failure to produce a discourse on the body, also the failure not to produce a discourse on it. Et se sont appelés républicains, démocrates, euh, alors que c'était des crapules, des, des voleurs, des, des négriers, des esclavagistes qui tiraient sur les mineurs en grève, qui assassinaient les gens de la commune, qui, des, des bains de sang, des bains de sang. Et ces gens-là s'appelaient centre-gauche, républicains, alors qu'ils étaient d'extrême droite. Quote from Dostoevsky, « There is only one positively beautiful figure in the world, Christ, so that the phenomenon of that boundlessly, infinitely good figure is already seen as an infinite miracle, but he is good only because he is at the same time ridiculous. Mangled and breakable, the fragile body, <laughs> bless you, The fragile body. The <laughs> Don Quixote's slender wan figure. Don Quixote's with little slender flesh on his slender bones. Face with little flesh on his little bones. Flesh on his bones. And Don Quixote, weak and is foolish, figured as a such as Christ reigns his have dried up in the eyes of Nietzsche, just weak as he was foolish. in the eyes of the such ancient Such is Christ world. in his kenosis, in the eyes of Nietzsche, just as he was in the eyes of the ancient world au point que les électeurs se sont mis à ne plus voter à droite, enfin de leur côté, du côté des soi-disant républicains. Weak and foolish, such as Christ in his kenosis, in the eyes of a Nietzsche, just as he was in the eyes of the ancient world, end quote. I can never marry, I can never marry, I am ill. As one Dostoevsky scholar puts it, This beatific vision of harmony can only be experienced by a half-witted epileptic who knows it to be an aberration of his disease. In fact, epilepsy itself, <coughs> what Shakespeare and Julius Caesar called falling sickness. Les fascistes, les gens d'extrême droite, c'est les propriétaires, les, mais les grands propriétaires, les, 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 les possédants, les grands possédants, les ultra privilégiés qui sont prêts, qui veulent bien de la République quand ça leur donne tout le pouvoir. In fact, this relation enacts an allegory of their link, for one could say, he says, that literature and philosophy have never stopped wanting to relate to and or oppose one another as body to soul or spirit. Moreover, one is tempted to say that if there has never been any body in philosophy other than the signifier and signified in literature on the contrary there is nothing but bodies Donc le fascisme c'est les possédants qui ne qui ne renoncent à la république et à la démocratie quand ils commencent à perdre des élections I'm sorry <laughs> So he um, connects the body to the thought of thinking, responding with an almost unreadable acquiescence to the question that Heidegger poses, what is called thinking. Can I just stop you right there for a second? When people do this, I don't really know what that means. <laughs> this inert presence, detached from the knowledge that would seek to contain it, has let go of a treasury of sense to which those united with God have access. With the death of God, we have lost this glorious body, this sublime body. He says, God is dead means God no longer has a body. I'm not quoting Dostoevsky here, but no see. Henceforth, bodies bereft of trickle-down symbolicity will have to be pumped up prosthetically amplified, stereotical, built and buffed, bionically assured, drugged or medicated. The dead rotten body is this thing that no longer has any name in any language. Such are the sacrificed bodies, but sacrificed to nothing, says Nancy. 
Anyone who tries to present a case for its justification is a Stoic or a Christian or worse. One could be a Hegelian. Yeah. Yeah. Hegelian. I'm not hygienic. I don't wipe properly. I lack style. I have no charisma or self-esteem. I don't own a toothbrush or let my scabs heal. I can't reach all the parts of my body. seen as a pain that succeeds, uh, very French. It is not that I am in the sense of a sudden retrieval of self. I am no more than the piercing pain that is tearing me apart. 